What's going on traders? It's Raphael here again and in this video I want to show you how to use the meter trader on your smartphone. So the first step is the app downloads. You go to the Play Store or the App Store and search for the meter trader 4 and simply download it. And yeah, next step is to create a demo account. Um, you can use the meter quotes demo. Uh, you don't. You you can search for a broker if you like. If if you know if you got a bro if you already got got a broker, you can uh, search for a broker if you like. But uh, I will use the meter quotes demo for this example. Uh, you don't have to put in your real details when you create the demo account. Just um, just try to make it as realistic as possible. So use the amount that you would uh, start with. So, for example, if you if you want to start with ten grand, with ten thousand dollars or whatever, then uh, use ten thousand dollars in your demo as well to keep it as realistic as possible. And then, yeah, click create the account, done. And then, after creating the account, you land on the quotes window. The quotes are basically the displayed prices of the assets that you can trade. An asset can be a currency pair like Euro US dollar or US dollar JPY or it can be a metal like gold or it can be a stock like Amazon or Apple or it can be an indice like Dow Jones or Nasdaq or S&P 500 or stuff like that. Um, whatever asset you select to add on this quotes list will be shown when you click the first button to the left on the bottom of the screen. You can add your favorite assets or symbols by clicking the plus on the top right corner. And then you can select the Forex folder and there you see some more currency pairs that are not listed in your quotes list and by clicking on them you add them to your quotes list. If you want to delete an asset from that list you can click the pen button on the top right on the top right corner and then select the pair you want to delete. Or you can also move the symbol to another position in the list and whenever you press and hold one of the assets from that list a pop-up window will open where you can uh, choose to open the chart if you're using an Android you can open the chart as well by swiping over the asset from the right side to the left side then the chart will open automatically um, you can use the meter trader to analyze the markets with tools like horizontal lines or boxes or trend lines or whatever you want to use um, I like to use TradingView to do that, but you can use the MT4 as well. Um, and then you have the crosshair button on the top to highlight the different areas on the chart and to help you see the price better. On the right side you see the exchange rate, which is price, and on the bottom of the screen you see the date and the time. The next button to the right side of the crosshair is the indicators button where you can add different types of indicators on the chart. Indicators are tools that help you to identify what price might do next. Um, I don't really use a lot of indicators when it comes to price action trading and you don't need them as well. But if you want to add an indicator on your chart, you can simply click on the indi indicator and then you can put in all the parameters you want to use and then click done on the top right side of the screen and then you can find the indicator on your screen. If you want to delete the indicator, you have to click on the indicator button again and then click on the pin in, in the top right corner of the screen and, you, and then you can delete it. The next button to the right side of the indicators button helps you to quickly switch between your selected favorite assets. Remember that you can modify that list by modifying the quotes window. The next button to the right side of the dollar button is where you can switch between the different time frames. You can choose between a one minute chart to a one month chart. M1 means one minute chart, M5 means five minute chart and so on, minute 50, minute 30, and H1 which means one hour, then we got four hour chart and then uh, D1 which means the daily chart, week one and monthly. Um, whenever you click on one of these, let's say you click M1, the one minute chart opens. One minute chart means that each candle represents one minute of price data. If you select the M15 chart, uh, each candle represents 50 minutes of price movement. And on the one hour chart, each candle is worth one hour of price data. On the four hour chart, on the H4, it is four hours of price data. And on the D1, it is one day of price data. So, yeah, we simply zoom out. 
The next button to the right side of the time frame button is the paper with this plus in the middle. This is where you can open a new order, aka open a new trade. You can set up the lot size to determine how much money is riding on every move of the market. And then you can set the stop loss and take profit targets to preset the price where you want to close the trade automatically with a profit or a loss. You can easily modify these targets at any time after you have opened the trade. And yeah, you buy when you think the price is going up and you sell when you think the price is going down. And if you take a look at the bottom of the screen, there are some more buttons. Um, let's click on the third one from the left side. This window shows you your active running trades and your overall account balance and equity and used margin and free margin. Um, in this window, you can see if your trades are in profit or in, lo in a loss. And when you press and hold um, the open trade, then you can then a pop-up window open and then you can modify the order. Um, you can change the stop loss or the take profit of the running trade and you can close the trade by clicking on close order when the pop-up window appears and that's it for this window the next button to the right is the history the history shows you all your account transaction whether you fund your account and put money in it or whenever you withdraw money from your account and also all your closed trades Profits and losses will all pop up in here. Uh, you can also select how you want to order the history and you can select the time frames you want to check the history as well. And if you click on a trade, you can see the stop loss and take profit and swap taxes and commissions and all that stuff that comes with the trade. Um, swap is a fee that you pay when you hold a trade overnight. It can be a positive swap or it can be a negative swap uh, that you have to pay and the commission is what the broker charge you for open a trade some broker some brokers work without commissions some brokers work with commission it depends on the account that you choose and uh, we're going to talk about that in another lesson and that's it meter trader is easy to use and i'm sure you will learn everything fast all you need to know about meter trader is how to open trades how to close the trades how to modify your trades how to manage your risk and maybe how to use the drawing tools to analyze the markets if you have no chance to use a laptop for whatever reason. Uh, I personally like TradingView. I use it on my laptop. It's much, f it's uh, it's a lot quicker for me. Um, yeah, but you when when you're on the road, you can use MetaTrader and uh, use the drawing tools that you find in the MetaTrader uh, tool section. Yeah, um, thank you for your time. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video, guys. Peace.